Okay, so next we're going to start fine-tuning our arrangement and adding our sort of fills and making the whole thing sort of flow into the track and we can um, add our different fills, sort of break down out, get our vocals placed in the right area and sort of tidy them up and just sort of uh, build up our um, main riffs and stuff. So uh, I'm going to start by doing um, a quick thing and what it is, I want to make a a sort of stabby reverb crash and what I'm going to do use that for sort of sweeping up into things but instead of just being a normal um, sort of white noise sweep I want it to have like a tone sort of like a pitch of an instrument so what I'm going to do is use some of the sounds that we have the pad sounds uh, the lead sounds and basically play a single stab with them in the in the note um, I think the D minor chord or D minor note and then we'll record the reverb back from that and when we reverse it we'll get this nice sweepy sound up so and that'll be used for the start for sort of sweeping into different sections and we can um, add on different sweeps on top of that and get some nice stuff going on so what I'm going to do I want to find a part of the track um, that has sort of the stuff going on obviously I don't need drums it's really just sort of the pads and the, and the lead sounds <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just copy this section over here and we make sure we've got all the bits we need. I'll maybe copy some of the fast bass over as well. And what we quickly need to do is edit all these notes so that all we all we've got at the start is like one stab, so one sort of fast note. So moving any notes that are sort of off the um, one marker onto it. And we'll open up our main riff. And we'll give it a, a lower octave as well. Yeah, we've got the lower octave there. And we can copy those main riffs down because they're the same pattern. And we'll just get rid of the acid, we don't really need it. And we'll go into our Korg. Okay, our Korg's not actually in, so we'll grab it, stick it here. Again, we're just going to edit it. Two bases somewhere going together under in this. And what we're going to do now is basically sample this reverb. So what we want to do is sort of magnify the effect. I'm going to actually turn the chord down for this. And we'll have a play about with our reverb. We want the quite attacking sound if we can get it. And 
I'm going to turn the auto filter off here as well. There we go, our reverb sounded nice and chunky and big. And what we're going to do now is basically just record um, that happening. So we'll create a new audio track. Take it outside that group. And we'll call it Rev Reverb. And we're going to select our channel which is the e -riff verb. We're going to arm it and then hit record. And we've got some other notes that need to be removed. Looks like it's our main riff. So we can just even shorten all those. That's a bit quicker. And we'll try that again. And now if we solo that and go in and reverse it, should have a nice sweep. And um, we can play about with our reverb and create some sort of different sounds. So we'll create a few different sweeps that we can use in different parts of our track. Try it with a shorter time. Still getting a delay of something. I wonder is it the reverb or is it Our fast bass has got two notes in it somewhere. And there's the culprit. So we'll record that. Go in reverse again. Have our start point a bit closer this time. And we'll try some other effects as well, just quickly while we're here. Make the room size massive. Look like we can get those independently, we can.
pretty weird. We'll try that anyway. So could be useful. So anyway, we've got these three parts, or four parts, and we're going to save them as samples. So what we want to do is crop clips, and it should crop them with the names intact if you haven't already named them. So there we go. And what what we can do is just reload up our previous project. We don't want to save any of that stuff. We've got our samples saved on our hard drive. Uh, we've been messing about with the reverbs and all the different stuff, so we don't want to save all that stuff we've done. Okay, so there we go. In the next video, we're going to be adding our sweeps in and creating some cool fills.